Long haul. Whoa. Hey, we're back. Episode two. Episode two. Back to Portal. We're just going to keep talking over each other. Yeah, I'm just... You go ahead. No, I'm sorry. You got you got you got right you got all right Everything so you just said um yeah we're playing portal <laughs> <laughs> you anyway let's play some portal all right yeah. this where'd we leave off oh that that uh finishing that last level we didn't talk about it but i love uh the mechanic I, I don't know if we already she already said it but one of my favorite quotes and this is uh something about portals keeping their momentum when they go through each other and in layman's terms speedy thing go in speedy thing come out <laughs> I think that was that last room, and I love that puzzle. The, the the writing for this game was clever. Right? That was half the game for me. It was the writing. Yeah. I think that's what really kept it in a tight knit ball. Wait, 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 wait. You know what that is? Sex ball. That's something I want. Yeah. Uh, I gotta think about this. Wait, but the writing for this game. Yeah, you were saying. The dark humor that they they put for Gladys is just so good. It's perfect. Her character is perfect. Like, it's perfectly written. Everything about it is just great. Everything about this game is great. It's like... Valve... Didn't know what they really had. Like, I wouldn't even say that. I would just say... I, I was just gonna say how, like... Uh, when Valve makes a game, they make the fuck out of a game. Like, they, uh... They really... I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? They really, like, polish it. You know what yeah, I mean? They, they put it to a shine. Like, same with, like, TF2. It's, it's a shooter... Down. And a lot of people like it. A lot of people don't even know about it. Yeah. But it, it's a game that, like, even if you didn't like the lore behind it or how the people looked, it's polished to a friggin' shot. That their mechanics in that game are so perfectly balanced, and they at least clearly they try to keep it as, be, as best as it can. Well, I mean, within it, it's very balanced. It's almost always like I mean, it was perfectly balanced when the game first came out because it had like just stock weapons, just stock everything, and. uh... Yeah, like I was saying, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, about the, having the orange box on the Xbox, and I played TF2 along with this game, and it, it was only stock weapons, I don't know if anyone... Yes, we're free. Did they ever get updates on the Xbox for that? No, that's what I'm saying, is uh, they did not have uh, custom weapons at all. At all. There was no custom anything, no hats, all stock, and that's when I fell in love with the game. I still love it, I still think it's an incredible game, and I don't play it as regular as I should to be honest but uh yeah. maybe we'll do a little bit of that yeah play some one offs of that maybe I mean get some friends going let's let's play the entirety of TF2 <laughs> <laughs> it's a game you can never finish we'll get 999 hours and then I don't know if we beat the game then I guess <laughs> at a thousand hours TF2 is over it's done we'll shut it down I do like what they did with a lot of it I mean especially for now it being a free to play game and possibly one of the best ways to show and do a free-to-play game. It's... Like, there's so many bad ones. There's man. a lot of, yeah, uh, like, free-to-play, like, uh, they try to monetize it. Exactly. Like they try to sell shit to you in the game. And TF2 does do that, but it doesn't It doesn't need to be. And they know that. They, they treat it as that the stock weapons and any of the weapons and uh, stuff you can buy are the exact same, just treated in a different manner. Yeah, like, uh... My favorite knife in the whole game is your eternal reward uh, for spy. I'm, I'm a spy, but I love playing spy. Um, I'm a spy, but I love playing spy. I am a spy. <laughs> I love playing <laughs> comma. <laughs> I'll audibly say comma. Um, it's uh, your eternal reward, which for those of you that don't know, uh, it, it, you cannot disguise as anybody, but um, when you stab, like uh, like when you backstab somebody, which is like the style of a uh, spy's prerogative. I just realized some people probably don't know what TF2 is. Exactly. We Somehow. Clarify on that. Um, uh, yeah, but your eternal reward when you stab somebody, you become them. Like you become that person, and that's normally when you disguise, you don't get the chance. It's I don't know. It it is a very small change up that makes a huge difference in strategy. And you have to have a different strategy for it, or it won't work. Much like how the sniper in the game, who is his own specific class, it's not like, you know, Call of Duty where you can pick up a shotgun and right. a sniper rifle. Right. He's, a, he's a specific class called Sniper, and he gets the rifle, and it's a one-shot, and he has to reload it every time. And then he has, like, his main... Uh, his machine gun, usually. The, the secondary, which is a machine gun. Usually. 
Yeah, you can all you can change that up too, but that's much later on. We're gonna talk about that more if we ever play it. But uh, you can one of his main weapons that he gets as a change up instead of the sniper rifle is called the Huntsman, which is a bow and arrow. It's a bow and arrow completely changes the dynamic. Yeah, because of like. When you're playing sniper uh, with just the stock sniper rifle, it's it's a point and click game basically. It's yeah, it, it's over. It you just you get because you get the headshot almost every time. You, you'd have to be like a pretty piss poor shot not to get the headshots. It's crazy. But, but with the huntsman, it has a curve and a, a limited range as opposed to the rifle, but it deals much more damage. And it doesn't have like a wind up like the um, like the, the actual stock right, rifle. Right. Right. Uh, the Huntsman is a magnificent weapon. It, it's, it, if you can master that, it's, you win TF2. It, and it just, just the sheer fun of it. Like that. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing most people can't finish, like understand it. I don't know why I said finish, but... Yeah, they can't finish it. Like, they'll start <laughs> it, but it just they won't finish it. Yeah. But it, it's something a lot of people can't master. And if you can get good at it, you're, you're almost unbeatable. Uh, yeah. Very few people can understand. Uh, you you double that hunts with the pans, and you're done. Oh, your enemies are. Me and me and our other friend Kenny, he uh, me and him and made our own game called Hunts and Pans. Kenneth, we'll call Kenneth. him Kenneth. Yes. Uh, hunts He's and a very pants. proper man. <laughs> hunts and pans. You it's... get a huntsman sniper. You grab a pan as your melee weapon, you and fight. and what's called Jurati. Which, Which is basically piss. a jar of piss. It, no, it's literally piss. It's just piss. <laughs> and you whip it at you. And it's a great time. Everyone has a fantastic I mean, if you get pissed on, it's pretty shitty. Unless you're into this. I'm not. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, uh, this is, I have to stop. I gotta at least pretend to not know what I'm doing. Because... <laughs> You're not even thinking of it. It's in the back of your mind. I'm, I'm, this, I'm not even focusing on the game. This is unbelievable. I always try to... What is that little dot right there next to the two portal symbols? Oh, that uh, that uh, represents the for the portal you just shot last. Oh. Okay. So, like, I shoot an orange. If I shoot a blue, it's over there. It helps you keep track of... Uh, Which one you have out. Yeah, so, like, if you shoot I that I never one, realized that, and now that I have, I feel like a fool. Because that could have been so freaking <laughs> it, helpful. It's very helpful, <laughs> yeah. I use it quite a bit. I find myself needing it sometimes. Every now and again, you just stop playing the game to dance a little bit on the ground. <laughs> I saw that. Look, they, they, why even bother having the, the things that go up and down where you just portal your way through? Well, that's what the, the game's trying to show you. It's, it's what you're looking at as a standard platformer and how you would go about it and then think with portals. You yeah. Change the way you do things. You can make it easier. Or you can make it more interesting. You can go faster or slower depending on what portal you're using. Exactly. You're I, using I hope it. to God I nailed this on my first shot. Please. Please, for the love of God. Nope. Oh, are you kidding me? What did it... Why did is it, it bouncing through? around over there? Did, did you pull the portal too fast? I don't know. God damn it. God damn it, Mark. <laughs> You're making a oh, fool of us all. This game sucks. Why do we play it? I'm, I'm finished. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. This is this game is stupid. I didn't mean that. Don't, I'm, I'm sorry. We cannot rage quit on the first death. <laughs> well, second death, technically. It's... God, I'm so... Okay, I don't know what I did wrong. And that's another great thing about this game. You die super fast, but you also come back super fast. You jump right back into it. You're never missing a beat. And it never feels like the game's beating you. You just gotta rethink about what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Alright, let me see if I can. Looking good. Looking good, looking good. Wait, you just pulled away the blue one. I know. Is that what you not wanted? No, that's what I wanted. Because it's gonna come back through the orange, through the orange, and please. It may have busted. It might not have lined up. Yeah, I think that... No, it, you, it did, you have to gets, let it go it through the destroyed. blue one. It gets destroyed. It gets destroyed. God damn it. All right. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, it's a bit. It's a little late not to swear, I guess. <laughs> We're probably not going to be an incredibly kid-friendly show. I, I, I mean, I'll try to watch my tongue, I guess. For those who are opposed to the... Wait, why don't I just... Tongue of the devil. Why don't I... Hold on, I'm going to... I'm gonna do it this way. Yeah, that does seem a little bit easier. Wait, that's the wrong portal, isn't it? No, it's not. It doesn't matter. 
Yeah. Now I see why they have these things. I thought you were going to be able to do it without them, but I guess not. Uh, I mean, there's probably a way, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish it. See? I'm eating up more time. <laughs> uh, Throwing those quotas. That's, that's what we're all about here. Huh? Did I do it? You just did it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was unnecessary. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't even... Jeez, maybe I'm... <laughs> I'm just, like, passively doing this game. Oh. oh passively I'm winning. winning. I'm passively winning. Jeez. You are nothing like Charlie Sheen. Uh, let's you see. only do half the amount of coke he does. Let's try... Let's see how fast I can get through this next one. I'm going for, I'm going for a speed run on this one. Let's see if I can't beat it. If you die in three times, you have to stop. If I die... Four times. What happens? Well. <laughs> He's run, yeah. <laughs> uh, this might not be a speedrun. I have a problem with this one sometimes. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. <laughs> oh, no, no. This this one's alright. This one I could do. It's the next one. It's, it's actually a bit yeah, of a pain. Exactly. Oh shit! Did you not think that one through? Wait a second. <laughs> Hold the phone. I like how they reuse uh, the that ball. Is actually just the um, if you remember from Half Life, the machine gun in that game. That not the little sub. It's the energy the ball. Yeah. It's the energy ball you shoot out like the second. Exactly. They just reuse that. That's really funny. <laughs> Well, it's well, clever use of resources. Valve's, uh, Valve will definitely reuse resources, and that's fine, because their game, their, their games are kind of in the same universe, and you know what? We're going to have to I save this puzzle for the don't next feel game. like doing this. I'm going to have to take an emotional break, I guess. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, we hope you enjoyed your next little stretch of the long haul. This has been Mark. I'm Trev. And we'll see you, we'll probably see you next time. We might get new hosts, we're not sure about it yet. I mean, I kind of suck. I, I think I'm going to have to replace myself. Bye-bye! <laughs>